Hey everybody, this video starts us out here in Oaks, Pennsylvania. And the reason why I say starts us out here in Oaks, Pennsylvania, and the reason why we are in Oaks, Pennsylvania is because we are doing a little thrifting slash shopping around town today. And we're starting out here at Target because there is a title, a specific title I am looking for in Target. Recently picked up a few things inside this store, but there's a movie, I, no, I should say a TV show, a season one of a TV show I want to pick up. They did not have it at Target yesterday, a different Target I was at yesterday. So I'm hoping this Target might possibly have it. If not, maybe I'll pick something else up. I don't know. So we have some plans to hit up Target, Walmart. We're going to stop at a, at a library. We're going to go to like two different thrift stores. We're going to go to a card store to look for Pokemon cards for you. So we're going to make our way all around town. Again, doing a little shopping, doing a little thrifting. Either way, we're gonna go home with some movies and some Pokemon cards, right? Mm -hmm. Right. All right, well, I don't wanna jinx myself, but maybe today's gonna be a, a nice, smooth, easy day because um, we're here in the, the new section of the movies and right away I'm finding exactly what I'm looking for. Season one of 1923. Did not have this yet. I've been wanting to get this since it came out like a week or or two ago, but for whatever reason, I just kept picking up different things. Like I just recently grabbed Asteroid City and I picked up the machine and Venture Brothers and paint and all this other stuff. I grabbed Fast X. So I bought a lot of stuff. I just, for some reason, kept passing on this. And the more I thought about it, out of all the different titles that would be probably more difficult for me to find in the future, probably season one of 1923 would be more difficult to find than let's say Fast X or The Machine or something like that, that's probably gonna show up, show up at places like the video game movie dome. So this is the title I should have bought first. So now I'm buying it last. Anyway, I'm buying this. This is what I came in for. Are we, are we like done now? Yes, sir. Can we go to the next door? Yes, sir. Oh, that was easy. Actually, wait a minute, hold on. There's still one more thing I wanna pick up. It has nothing to do with movies. It has to do with last night, me being very hungry and me thinking, me, <laughs> me being hungry, me thinking, me need cereal and me need some, some, yeah, me, me, me need some life. Life is exact, that's exactly what I need. I need a life. Anyway, I'm getting cereal. You love being my son, don't you? Yeah. All right, so our next door brings us out to Walmart because once again, just like at Target over the weekend, there was one very specific title I was looking for that Walmart also did not have. They just recently put out some new Blu-rays and DVDs with some interesting artwork and the price is right. And there was, there was one specific Blu-ray I wanted to pick up that the Walmart we went to this weekend did not have. So I'm hoping this store has it. I'm going to say power of positivity. The Target we went to had the one title I was looking for. So I'm going to say this Walmart's going to have the one title I'm looking for, right? Again, power of positivity. It actually feels kind of weird to be in this Walmart. This is the Walmart I used to go into all the time. I was in here at least once, sometimes twice a week, back when I used to work in this area. I worked for a company for 14 years right down the road. So every lunch break and just after work, sometimes even before work, I'd pop into the store to see what new movies had been released and what new stuff was on the shelves. But I haven't really been out here in, it's been, it's been a while. It's been, it's been a good long while since I've been in this store. I kind of miss coming in here. I didn't, it, it takes me back to when I used to work in the area and spend lunch breaks that I probably should have been eating lunch during here, buying movies instead of eating. All right, so what's the saying? Snooze, you lose, right? I, I snoozed on not coming out to these stores immediately looking for this because apparently this is the one title that everybody's looking for and I don't blame them. I mean, $10 for this on Blu-ray? Why would, why would everybody not? want to pick this title up, The Gate, on Blu-ray. I I have it on DVD. I really want to upgrade to the Blu-ray. It's a fantastic 80s horror movie. I love that film, it's so good. When I found out they had it on Blu-ray, I I wanted to get it, but unfortunately they're, they're, all, they're all sold out. Every store I go to so far has been sold out of The Gate. I am determined to find it, but not, not today, unfortunately. The closest uh, other Walmart to me is, is kind of far away actually. So we're not gonna go to that today, but all right, they, they've got everything except for the one very specific title I'm looking for. And yes, I did look behind all of this stuff, look down to see if anything had, had fallen down, nothing. There's, there's no copy of the gate. So 
I now have two choices. Choice A, just walk out of here not buying anything, or choice B, try to find something else. I'm gonna try to find something else. I don't want this trip to be a complete waste. Plus, if I walk out of here empty-handed, I'm gonna be sad that I didn't get the gate. I mean, I'm already gonna be sad I didn't get the gate, but I'll be even more sad that I didn't get the gate. And this is how you know I have been wasting way too much money as of recently and splurging on things and buying stuff as they're coming out because I honestly don't see anything here I need. They have a decent movie section here. It's just, it's all stuff I already own. All the, all the movies they have here, all the TV seasons they have here, all the stuff I could possibly want to pick up is, is stuff I already have, stuff I don't actually need. I'm seeing things like paint and there was the, the Terrifier 2 over there. There's a bunch of season sets and complete series sets and all kinds of interesting things. It's just interesting things I already own, stuff I don't need. Even a lot of this anime here, I already have. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I might just buy something I've had my eye on. It's something I don't actually need. It would just be an upgrade, but it's kind of cool they released this, the Blu-ray, so I might, I might do it, yeah. The Adventures of Batman on Blu-ray. I already have the, the, complete DV, the complete DVD set. I guess it's not a series, I don't know. I have the complete DVD set, but I don't have it on Blu-ray. I don't need this. Again, I technically already have it. I'm fine with my Blu-ray or my, my DVD copy, but it is really awesome they did release this and, and, and just put this on, on Blu-ray. And maybe, maybe if I buy this, that'll give Warner Brothers the incentive to put more of this stuff out on Blu-ray, right? Possibly, maybe, probably not. I wanna buy something, should I buy this? I'm, I'm buying this, let's go, let's go. Okay, next stop on the trip is um, where we actually start some thrifting, possibly. This is the Lower Providence Community Library, a library that um, in the past I have found some amazing deals at, things like Criterion collection releases and box sets and horror titles and all kinds of awesome stuff. With that being said, it's extremely hit or miss. Sometimes you find amazing deals like that and sometimes you walk out completely empty-handed. In fact, the last time you and I were here, we walked out empty-handed, right? We were looking for uh, books, like Dogman books and stuff like that, nothing. I was looking for movies, I found nothing. So, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna keep the power of positivity alive, but it, it's a library. I, I love thrifting at libraries. I love looking for deals at libraries, but again, they are extremely hit or miss, so you never, you never know. But anyway, shh, it's a library, we gotta be quiet. Wow, it was really, really quiet in there. And um, on top of that, back in the used section, there was a lady going crazy buying books and, and movies. I don't know if she was a reseller or maybe she's just a collector. Maybe she just really likes cheap books and, and movies. I have no idea, but she was going nuts back there. So decided not to actually film inside the library. Plus, didn't really find much in the way of anything I wanted. Only found one one movie here, and that is um, She Makes Comics, The Untold Story of Women in Comics, a, um, a documentary directed by Marissa Stotter, is that how you say that? And actually autographed by her as well, which is pretty awesome. So, I mean, for a buck, figured why not pick this up? I, I like comic books, um, I like documentaries. It seemed interesting. So for a buck, that's all I grabbed. There was nothing else I wanted. No, no books. There was a Pokemon book, but it was, um, it was a little kid's Pokemon book. And there was... The last kids on this book four, but I already have. You already have that one, so nothing for Sean. But all right, so like I said, it's a library. They're hit or miss, and today it was a. Uh, we'll, we'll say it was a. Um, I, I got the first plate base, and that was that was about. It. I'm trying to come up with a baseball term, but I don't know sports. So comments down below. I found one movie. It wasn't a home run. It wasn't a miss. It wasn't necessarily a hit. What would the what would the what would the term be? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Baseball, spoo arts, I don't get it. The next stop on our thrifting around town adventure brings us out to Liberty Ministry Thrift here in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. And not to jinx myself, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I've been having some really good luck inside the store as of recently. Even a couple of stops ago, you, you found a, a book inside the store, right? You wanted to pick up, so maybe you'll find some more books. I'll find some more movies. Again, I'm, I don't, I don't wanna jinx myself, but hmm. I don't want to jinx myself, and then I immediately trip over the curb. I don't know how to take that. I'm going to see if we're going to find something good. I'm keeping the power of positivity alive. Stupid curb. Well, what did you just say? You jinxed us. Yeah, apparently I, I jinxed us. We're not finding anything we want. Sean found no books over there he wanted. I'm finding no movies I want. There is nothing here 
I want to pick up. So I'm going to end up passing on, on all of this. So I may have jinxed me, but I may have jinxed Sean. But I guess somehow I, I did not jinx Danielle because um, I'm finding some things I'm going to pick up for her. Here's Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World with Miko featured on the front. And Pocahontas, the gold classic collection VHS release, again with Miko featured on the front for her, for her Miko collection. But um, that's it. I mean, they had a whole bunch of DVDs, a whole bunch of CDs, a whole bunch of Blu-rays here, and not a single title I want to pick up. But you know what I have been looking for? A sleigh, a motorized sleigh. If you, if you see one of those, let me know, okay? Right, right there. All right, seriously, no joke. This thing is actually pretty awesome. This is, I guess, Kristoff's sleigh, or maybe it's Anna or Elsa's sleigh. I, I have no idea. I didn't know they made like a Power Wheels sleigh for, for Frozen. That is awesome. Should we get that? We could ride around town in it. How, how cool would we look? No, no. All right. Well, they did have some video games in the um, the front display case, but they were asking twenty dollars for Tetris on the Game Boy. I did not even bother to ask how much Super Mario Brothers, or so Super Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii was. I I figured, yeah, let's not not even worth asking. So, no video games, unfortunately, I either. Already have Smash Brothers. But you don't have Brawl for the Wii. We we need to get that at some point. But all right, so. Just, just stuff for, for Danielle, nothing for us. On to our next store. All right, so our next stop brings us out to Trap, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Trap, Pennsylvania, of course, is a check out their Goodwill store. It's been two weeks since we've last been in here. I'm not gonna say anything about whether we're gonna find good deals or not good deals because then I'm gonna jinx myself. Although by saying that, I may have possibly just, does that count as a jinx? I have, I have no idea. I shouldn't even believe in jinxes, should I? But, but I, but I do. Maybe it's <laughs> like jinx the Pokemon. Of, of course, everything relates back to Pokemon, our Mario Brothers, with Sean. Knock on. This is wood, right? Oh uh, yeah, pla it's plaster. That's wood. That's wood over there. Go knock on wood. We're gonna find some good deals. Sean's gonna find some books. I'm gonna find some movies. We're gonna find some good stuff because Sean knocked on wood. Mm -hmm. And if we don't find anything good. It's all his fault. That's all your fault, but you didn't knock on It's true. All right, so of course, the first thing we're gonna be doing is diving into all the movies, which have been once again moved. They're now kind of up front here, and um, I'm seeing a whole lot of empty spaces, and unfortunately, I, I'm i hoping they actually have something here I need. I'm hoping maybe they've done some restocking, maybe brought some new stuff out. I I, I don't I don't know. There, There's a ton of empty shelves. I do see some some Christmas stuff over here, so maybe they have done some restocking. Maybe they they've started to bring the the Christmas and Halloween stuff out. Maybe some good horror. I don't know. Well, I did say some good horror, although I don't really know if I'd count Venomous as good horror. It's um it's fun cheesy horror. It's a it's a snake movie, and I need this. I I need an individual copy of this. I have it in a multi feature set. I'm trying to split up. So for three dollars i'm thinking why not pick this up the disc is minty so okay we're off to a start i don't know if i'd say it's a it's a good start but it's a it's a start well unfortunately i'm not really seeing much else other than venom with the exception of two things over here in the blu-rays otherwise i just don't see much else so in the blu-rays they actually had something pretty awesome and that's the legend of Korra seasons uh what is this well i mean book one, season one book one and season two book two i have these on dvd i don't have these on blu-ray and anything with a blue tag this week is on sale for half a price so at two dollars and fifty cents i'm gonna do some upgrading i'm gonna grab both of these so basically i'm just buying a whole bunch of stuff that i don't technically need again i, I have i have venomous in a multi-feature set and i have legend of Korra book one and book two already on dvd so i'm upgrading that's what i'm doing today i'm, I'm just i'm just upgrading and i'm not seeing anything else I want to buy so i'm thinking as far as movies are concerned it's just gonna be this yeah that's uh that's quick that's gonna do it for the uh for the movies went through all the movies a second time to see if there's anything i missed over there wasn't even went through the cds as well and nothing there i wanted so easy peasy lemon squeezy trip out to the goodwill but you want to check the books right yeah. all right let's go see what they have back in the books oh no so this goodwill has also gone the way of the um the cheap bad looking rack some people disagree some people say these these racks are okay i shouldn't get them a hard time for these but i think they're bad looking they are they are not 
They are not nice. I, I miss the, the the rows of um, of nice shelving. This, this looks like a bunch of squiggly black lines. <laughs> looks like a bunch of squiggly. You heard it right here from Sean. Looks like a bunch of squiggly black lines. You know what it looks like? Looks like cheap. That's what it looks like. And unfortunately, the books are a bust. Sean does not see anything over here he actually needs. So we're going to pass on the books. Should we just skim the wonderful looking aisles really quickly to see what they have and then get out of here? I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh my gosh, these are awesome. They're not necessarily $5 a piece awesome, but they are really, really cool. These are little figures from a Charlie Brown Christmas. Unfortunately, this one looks to have been uh, been broken, decapitated, but man, these are... These are really, really well, cool. Mi miss, missing pucks. some of the, which one says hockey pucks? Yeah. She says hockey pucks? Yeah, because she's supposed to say hard and then she says hockey Oh, that's pucks. right. And then, he, and then he goes. Somebody's seen the uh, the short, That that's awesome. These are really cool. I mean, I'm tempted to get maybe like, just one of them or something. I don't know, like Peppermint Patty one's pretty good. Cool. I don't know. I don't really need them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on those. Again, they're five bucks a piece. They're not on sale. They're cool, but, but hockey pucks. I'm gonna have to pass. All right, guys, well, I'm thinking that's just about gonna do it for this Goodwill. I honestly don't see anything else I wanna pick up other than the uh, the three the three titles right here. So I'm thinking, are we, are we done? Yeah. Is there anything else I should buy? I don't know. I feel like maybe I should grab something else while I'm here. I just, I can't, I can't figure it out. If you see something cool, it's only $3 I should pick up. Let me, let me, let me know. Okay, so the last stop on our thrifting trip today is a store that we're probably going to be going to a heck of a lot more, at least when we're in this area, because this is Sean's new favorite store. Ever since we went in here last week, he's been talking about coming back, and that's Nash Cards Sports and Pokemon Cards. This place has a ton of Pokemon cards, and Sean is kind of now obsessed with the store. He actually has his backpack with him because he brought all his his doubles, his trading yes. cards, because he wants to see how they do trades here. Maybe they could trade some, like maybe like, oh, you give us like four cards and we'll give you like a cool, I, we don't know how they do trades here. We're gonna find out, because he's got literally two boxes mm -hmm. full of cards that are doubles. So maybe we'll get some some cool deals. I don't, I don't even know if they really do trade. I don't know how this works. So we're gonna go find out. Either way, we're gonna walk out of here with some cards in hand. Well, unfortunately, they're not actually doing trades today, but um, that's okay because Sean was able to go through all the $1 cards here, and he actually found some interesting things. So um, I don't even know what these characters are. This is Lu Luna Law and um, Glaceon and Lucario, Wobbuffet. Okay, Beedrill. All right, I know some of these guys. Gengar. Who, what's his name? B Banity or something? I I have no idea who half these characters are. Eevee, okay. And um, we have no idea, but it's a cool Japanese card of an mm -hmm. interesting character. Com ones. Comments down below. So... I said Sean could get 10 cards, so he's picking those up. That's, I think it's gonna, gonna do it for today. We'll, we'll come back when they're doing trades and we'll, we'll get some more. All right, so that worked out for Sean. He got some, um, some cards and they were giving out a free card on the way out. And look at this, right up front, they got a little stack of cards and then like that, any of those are free, you can pick one out and right up front was an Eevee, so. Yeah, like the, all the other ones were like that's, the that's awesome, that you, so you got a free yeah, Eevee, so. All right, so like I said, they weren't doing trades today. Apparently they have a girl they hire here that specifically does trade. She'll be in on Friday, so maybe we'll come back Friday. Maybe possibly we'll come back Friday and um, see how they, they go about doing Pokemon trades here. But all right, guys, with that, we are done. I'm happy, I got some movies, you got, uh, you, anything else besides the, the cards today? Did you find any books? No, no? just just cards. Yeah. All right. Well, Sean got. I mean, that's all you really care about. So Sean got his Pokemon cards. I got some movies. We all got some cool stuff. It was a very easy day today. We were kind of just like in and out of the stores. Not a not a whole lot of um, hanging out inside any one particular store for for too long of a time. So I'm happy because I'm hungry. I want to go get some pizza. Yeah. All right. Let's get home. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show, to keep the show going, so I really do appreciate that. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag... We don't watch baseball. Wait, what is it? We don't watch baseball. <laughs> hashtag we don't watch baseball. Wait, you're, you're did trying did, to you, did you think of that? That hashtag at the library and you were just waiting to use it? No, I just it right now. <laughs> Hashtag, we don't watch baseball. You're not wrong. We don't. 
All right, if you guys watch the video all the way to the very end. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.